This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. There's a planking craze that hit Australia. Australians apparently love to do the planking. There are people who are doing it in the United States now. Um, but it's this online craze. People take pictures of themselves um, laying face down on any type of surface and then they uh, post it online. So we have a video about this and then we have a tragic uh, element to this story. Now to the new craze that has some people stiffening their bodies and others just scratching their heads. But police are warning about the risks of planking after a man was charged for striking the pose on a police car. It's simple enough to join in. There are only a few basic rules to follow. After lying face down, expressionless, you need to straighten your arms and legs and point your fingers and toes. Before you know it, you're one of the growing number of people planking. And if you're a serious planker, you'll need to name your plank and then post a photo of it on Facebook. The possibilities are endless. The office plank, the boat plank, the blue collar plank, the clothesline plank. And for those who like to plank in numbers, there's the double plank, the synchronised plank, and even planking with pets. There are some high profile plankers. I'm not sure about the post-match celebration. There is obviously a message here. But in the quest to outplank others, it seems some participants are lying on a fine line. Police in Gladstone weren't impressed by this young planker. They've charged him with being found on a police establishment without lawful excuse. It's prompted this warning from the Grand Master of the plank. I believe the reason he did get arrested was because he attempted a plank that had already been done. And with planking now attracting practitioners of all ages, it seems this won't be just any passing fad. That is, of course, until they come up with another name for being just plain old bored. Travis McNamara, 10 News. That'll never catch on. <laughs> oh, I agree. The sports tonight with Brad McEwen and Brad Melbourne unsuccessful in their appeal tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> First of all, I love the baby plank. That was funny. The baby plank was cute. The Elmo plank was also very cute. Uh, um, the guy in the refrigerator underneath the drinks, mm -hmm. that was clever. I like that plank. Uh, but it turns out planking has a tragic conclusion. There was a 20-year-old who fell seven stories to his death after attempting to plank on a railing on top of a building. All right. Now, I have a conclusion. This is not the fault of plank. Because you know how the media gets riled up, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, that's it, planking is dangerous. Planking is a scourge of the earth, it leads to kids dying, right? No, a kid was doing something stupid he shouldn't have been doing, right? And I feel terrible about it. Mm -hmm. and, and I get that it's some of our people are planking in dangerous areas, but now there'll be this backlash against planking, which by the way, I'd never even heard of until today. Mm -hmm. Okay, but all of a sudden I'm pro-planking. And I'll tell you why I'm pro-planking. Okay. 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 Because they're having fun. They're doing something a little different, you mm -hmm. know? And and I like that. And it's creative. And I don't want to discourage that. I don't want to say, oh, okay, some kid did it in a stupid, dangerous way and then it led to, to bad results. That's it. Everybody stop being creative. Stop having fun. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, I agree with you when it comes to the 20 year old. Planking was not the reason for his death. Well, it was, but, you know, we can't blame planking for what happened to him. It could have been skateboarding. If there was a skateboarding right. fad, he would have tried to skateboard on that rail, etc. He made something fun and innocent uh, into something dangerous and deadly. So, and, and that was his fault. Okay, but in terms of planking, whatever. I don't want to discourage it. If you want to plank, go ahead, plank away. But I don't really care for it. I, I, I like the baby planking. I liked Elmo planking. I thought it was cute. But other than that, I'm not going to actively seek photos of people planking. I have uh, zero interest in that. No, I understand. It's Jared Jackson, pro or anti planking? I'm totally for it, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you going to plank? I won't do it, no. no. No, he's too old these days. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to the TYT Supreme Court on this. Planking, yes or no? We need a decision. Uh, Chief Justice. Um, I would say yes, and I would do it. I got to think of something, though. All right. Well, if we were creative and we had already thought of it ahead of time, we would have done like those news anchors and would have had you out here on the plane. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Wang, 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 et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Although we would have just been ripping them off. No, if we were creative, we'd have Andrew planking on the Mac behind you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And if anybody would plank on a Mac, it would It'd be, be Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> okay.
So, we have a conclusion. Uh, TYT Supreme Court finds planking not guilty. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT, free trial membership, you get Netflix all over.